This video is made possible by Vincero Watches, luxury handcrafted watches at fair prices. You can check them out through the link below or at vincerowatches.com forward slash brain food. MRs are awesome. They can be used to score free flights, hotel stays, and if you're really lucky, the scorn and hatred of everyone that you come into contact with who has to pay full price when they travel. The king of all virtually free travelers is one David Phillips, a civil engineer who teaches at the University of California, Davis. David came to the attention of the wider media when he managed to convert about 12,150 cups of healthy choice chocolate pudding into over a million air miles. Ever since, David David and his entire family have been traveling the world for next to nothing. So how did he do it? Well, we first need to explain the kind of man David Phillips is. The type of guy who reads every inch of the small print on things. The kind of guy who learned to count cards just so he'd never get ripped off at a casino. In fact, Phillips stated that he could have probably been a pro card player if it wasn't for the cigarette smoke. Yep, this guy, according to him, could have been a millionaire card player, but he enjoyed fresh air more than the musky stink of success. His most famous endeavor was back in 1999 when he saw that Healthy Choice was having a promotion on their frozen entree section. The offer was as followed. For every 10 barcodes of their product a person sent in, they'd be awarded 500 air miles. However, the company had an early bird stipulation that people who redeemed the offer within the first month of the competition would receive double that, meaning that a person could potentially receive a thousand air miles for buying just ten of their entrees. Upon catching wind of the deal, David scoured his local supermarket to see which, if any, products offered the best potential return. After some legwork, he found what he was looking for, a discount grocery chain that was selling individual chocolate pudding cups for 25 cents each. That meant that for a measly $2.50 you could get a thousand air miles. Realizing the amazing return he could potentially receive, David set out to hit every store in the chain in one day and buy up every single healthy choice pudding that they had. Now you're probably thinking, a guy walking into several stores and asking to purchase all the healthy choice pudding they possessed, even in the back of the store, would arouse suspicion. And if anyone cottoned on to what he was doing, they'd try to get in on it too, because, well, why wouldn't they? David apparently had the same concern and while buying all the pudding, he told people he was doing it because he was stocking up for Y2K, which was just around the corner. All in all, David spent just over $3,000 on pudding, which may seem like a lot until you realize the total dollar value of the miles he was set to receive was in excess of $150,000. However, before all that, he had to actually send off all the barcodes. According to David, his wife got blisters from peeling off hundreds of stickers, and his kids and co-workers grew sick of the sheer amount of chocolate paste he was trying to force on them as not to waste it. Further, at a certain point, it began to look doubtful they'd be able to peel off all the barcodes in time to qualify for the early bird part of the promotion. This is when David had another idea. Why did he need to have his wife and children suffer when he could get others to do the legwork for him? I mean, this man really is a problem solver. David David approached the local Salvation Army with an offer. If they gave him a bunch of volunteers to peel off all the barcodes on his pudding, he'd donate the pudding to them. But here's the beautiful part. Doing this counted as a considerable charitable donation, which let David claim just over $800 back in tax deductions at the end of the year. But the benefits of David's scheme didn't end there. After sending off his barcodes and getting back his 1.28 million miles, he got a few more than just the pudding because he also bought some soup at 90 cents a can until he realized that was for suckers, and he now officially had over a million miles in his frequent flyer accounts, which automatically gave him lifelong access to something called the American Airlines A Advantage Gold Club, giving him and his family a number of awesome flying-related perks for the rest of their lives. But we haven't even got to the best part yet. David will likely never run out of air miles because he's still earning miles at about five times faster than he's spending them, despite traveling quite often thanks to various frequent flyer incentive programs that he keeps an eye out for and exploits just like the pudding scheme. By last count, he had over four million miles in his various accounts, and he's flown to over 20 countries and taken numerous vacations in the meantime. In the end, for a one-time cost of a little over $3,000 or less if you subtract the tax deduction and a few other similar deals he's taken advantage of to bolster his numbers, David never has to pay for a single flight in his life ever again.
And speaking of getting incredible things for less expensive than you might think, today's sponsor is Vincero, and I want to tell you about them before we get into the bonus fact today. I'm wearing a Vincero right now. This is the Vincero Rogue, but I've also got a couple of others right here in front of me. This is the Chrono S. This is the first one that I got actually. Blue and silver combination right there. This is a nice new one that they've got. This was released, I think, a few months ago. This is the uh, Vincero's take on the Pilot Watch. All of these have a cool bit of marble in the back as well, which also gives these watches a really nice heft. All of them, in fact, you know, really nice and weighty, but not massive. Like, uh, the Pilot Watch is a big watch by design, but this, uh, the silver and blue one, like, I've got pretty small wrists. They, uh, they actually have a 38 millimeter, which is pretty small by watch standards these days. So it's nice they have something for my little dinky wrists. So look, it's a brand new year. It's 2020. Why not start it off right? Put some confidence into your step with a nice looking watch. I think it will really set the pace for the whole year. And you know, it, it can feel like a small thing, like what difference does a watch really make? But I think it makes a big difference. I think when you've got a nice watch, you feel good about yourself. So go check out the full range of inseriowatches.com forward slash brain food. Use the code brain food to support this show and get a special discount. Thanks to Vincero Watches for sponsoring. And let's get into the bonus fact. Speaking of people trying to stick it to the man by getting free or nearly free flights, the more affluent of the world, who were probably mostly members of the figurative man themselves, once had a way to stick it to their fellow man via a pass called the A-Air Pass. This was introduced by American Airlines, and it allowed people to fly for free, forever, completely unlimited. Not exactly cheap, as in David's pudding case, the pass initially cost $250,000, which is about $641,000 in today's money, and it was offered for sale in 1981. In 1990, they bumped the price to $600,000, about $1.07 million today, and then in 1993 to $1.01 .01 million, about $1.7 million today. Despite the sticker price, the airline has since admitted this is one of the costliest mistakes they've ever made. Naturally, the high cost saw it out of reach of most of the world, but 66 passes were actually sold. And what a bargain those people got. According to the rather loose terms of the original Air Pass contract, customers who purchased one were entitled to free first-class travel anywhere in the world and were given lifetime membership to the American Airlines Admirals Club, which grants priority boarding, same-day booking, and access to lounges across the world that offer free food and drink for members. These benefits alone have seen some likening the unlimited a air pass to owning a fleet of private planes, making it an absolute steal of a deal. As one of the top frequent flyers, Steve Rothstein said, a very fun Saturday would be to wake up early and fly to Detroit, rent a car and go to Ontario, have lunch and spend 50 or $100 buying Canadian things and then be back by dinner. In another case, an individual traveled all the way to London 16 times in a single month. Good lord. In another case, an individual traveled all the way to London 16 times in a single month, sometimes just staying long enough to have a bite to eat before flying back home because, you know, England is known for its amazing cuisine. But it didn't stop there. Savvy customers found ways to get even more out of their passes. You see, under the terms of the agreement, customers were still allowed to claim air miles on all the flights they took, allowing those who use the service frequently, because, well, why wouldn't you, to rack up literally millions of air miles in the space of just a handful of years, which they could then give away to family and friends, or in the cases of some customers, actually sell. On top of this, because the AR Pass offered unlimited free travel, the airline were forced to absorb any and all fees customers incurred while using them, including taxes, meaning customers could literally book a dozen flights at a dozen different times for a single day and roll up at the airport whenever they felt like it, knowing that there would be no cancellation fees to pay for missing the other flights or additional duties or taxes to pay. But we're not done yet. On top of all of this, American Airlines offered customers a chance to purchase a companion pass at a discount price, which was about 40% off. And this granted all the same perks to anyone the original holder wanted, as long as they flew together. Customers who opted for this particular upgrade utilized it in a number of impressively creative ways, from booking an empty seat under a false name, to score more elbow room in the already spacious first-class cabin, to ferrying friends and often random strangers across the world for free. In the in the case of a guy called Steven Rothstein, he sometimes would book two tickets for every flight he took just to surprise people at the airport with a free first class upgrade. If you're wondering how much this all cost the airlines, according to an internal report from American Airlines in 2007, the top unlimited air pass holders cost the airline in excess of a million dollars that year each. 
Naturally, they soon did their best to try and kill the program, and after poring over all of the contracts and doing extensive investigations, American Airlines were able to successfully revoke the passes of a handful of the customers who'd abused the system the most, although many apparently still managed to hold on to their passes. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do smash that thumbs up button below. Also, support this show by supporting Vincero Watches. That would be great. There is a link below, and thank you for watching.